The big holiday weekend is almost here. Millions are expected to be hitting the roads. Okay, so AAA is predicting 100, more than 100 million drivers. They're going to be going somewhere over the next several days, some farther than others, right? We want to bring in 12 News journalist Jade Cunningham. She's joining us live now with more on when is the best day to travel. So, Jade, which is it? Well, I'm going to leave you with a little bit of a cliffhanger for a second because I'm going to get to that in just a moment. But yes, 104 million people will be driving this holiday weekend, specifically between December 23rd and the new year. It is going to be busy over the next several days, and we already are starting to see more and more vehicles hit the road. So if you can get on the road sooner rather than later, especially since we are going to be seeing some pretty interesting weather over the next few days, um, you know, you definitely want to, again, just start sooner rather than later. Uh, Christmas is going to be a good time to hit on the road if you can start Christmas morning. I know that's not ideal. Christmas Eve is also a good day to drive. Hundreds of millions will be getting behind the wheel. Triple A saying that Saturday, December 23rd and Thursday, December 28th will be the most congested on the road. So avoid those days if you can. December 30th will also see an increase in traffic, but not nearly as much as the other days. Now, Google Maps traffic data, though taking it a step further, it found that the best times to drive, stating for the days leading up to Christmas, that you should get on the road between 7 and 8 p.m. The worst time, it says, is between 3 and 4 p.m. AAA agreeing, it states, generally speaking, the best time to drive is before lunch and after 7 p.m. You can actually see it on its chart here. Breaking it down day by day, it says start earlier before 10 a.m. on the 23rd and then before noon on most of the other days. It's actually pretty interesting. So long story short, prepare for longer travel times. You can actually use your phone to help you. You can use those traffic apps, obviously finding a quick and easy route, and it will be able to detour you as well and find an alternate route in case something were to happen on the road that you were on. So again, just some good pointers there. Again, though, just go sooner rather than later. Later. Reporting live, Jay Cunningham, 12 News, today in AZ.